The following information comes from the essay titled Climate Change Summary at GuyMcPherson.com. It was last updated August 2nd, 2016. This video summarizes so reinforcing feedback loops number 24 and number 25 in the essay with a focus on peer-reviewed papers and assessments from national-level governments. Remember, it only takes one feedback loop to ensure the irreversibility of climate change. Feedback loop number 24, jellyfish have assumed a primary role in the oceans of the world according to the September 26, 2013 issue of the New York Times Review of Books with a review of Lisa Ann Gershwin's book, Stung, on jellyfish blooms and the future of the ocean. Quote, we are creating a world more like the late Precambrian than the late 1800s, a world where jellyfish ruled the seas and organisms with shells didn't exist. We are creating a world where we humans may soon be unable to survive or want to. End quote. Jellyfish contribute to climate change via 1. Release of carbon-rich feces and mucus used by bacteria for respiration, thereby converting bacteria into carbon dioxide factories, and two, consumption of vast numbers of copepods and other plankton. So for enforcing feedback loop number 25, sea level rise causes slope collapse, tsunamis, and release of methane, as reported on September 1st, 2013 issue of Geology. In eastern Siberia, the speed of coastal erosion has nearly doubled during the last four decades as the permafrost melts. Considering only data through 2005, according to a paper published September 28, 2015, in the Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences, the 500-year return time of floods in New York City has been reduced to 24.4 years.